In this video, we keep on presenting the basic concepts and notations of theory of languages for our course on theory of computation. By uppercase lambda, we denote the language containing only the empty word. Note that this set is not the empty set or empty language, since it has the empty word as a member. Let's define the concatenation of two languages, which will be denoted analogously to the concatenation of two words. The concatenation of language L1 with language L2 yields a new language containing all the words that can be obtained concatenating any word in L1 with any word in L2. We can denote them as follows. Let's see an example of concatenation. When concatenating two final languages, we obtain a language with as many words as the product of the number of words of the first language by the number of words of the second language. It can be easily checked that the language containing only the empty word is the identity element for the concatenation of languages. On the other hand, the empty language concatenated with any other language yields the empty language. That's because no word can be constructed by choosing a word from the empty language and concatenating it with another word. It can also be proven that the concatenation operation is associative. We define now the exponentiation operation for words and languages. A word W raised to a natural number n gives as result the word w concatenated with itself n times. For example, w raised to the power of 2 yields this word, w raised to the power of 1 yields w again, and by convention we define w raised to the zero power to be lambda the identity element for the concatenation. Note that, taking this fact in account, it holds that w raised to the n equals w concatenated with w raised to n minus 1 for all n greater or equal than 1. A language L raised to a natural number n yields a result the concatenation of L with itself n times. For example, L raised to the second power is this language, L to the 1 is this language. By convention, we define L to the 0 to be the language containing only lambda, that is the identity element for the concatenation of languages, and note that, taking this fact in account, it holds that L raised to the n equals L concatenated with L raised to n minus 1 for all n greater or equal than 1. Let's define now the clean start of a language. The clean start of a language yields as result a new language. This new language contains those words that can be obtained by choosing a finite number of words from L and concatenating them. Alternatively, a word W belongs to L star if and only if we can select a certain number of words W1 to WN from L, concatenate them and obtain W. We also have these alternative definitions for L star. This one makes explicit the fact that the words in L star are obtained by concatenating either zero words in L or one word in L or two words in L and so on. Let's see an example. Consider the language containing only the word A and apply the star operation. By choosing zero words from the language we obtain the empty word. By choosing one word we obtain A. By choosing two words, since both have to be A, we obtain AA. And by proceeding in this way, one can see that the result of the star operation, in this case, is the language containing 
all the possible worlds that can be built of A. Let's see another example. Consider the language containing only the word AB. In this case, after applying the star operation, we will obtain lambda, AB, 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 and so on. Let's see another example. Consider the language containing the words A and BB. In this case, after applying the star operation, we obtain lambda, A, BB, AA, ABB, BBA, PPBB, and so on. Let's see one last example. If we apply the clean start to the language of the words with even length, we'll obtain the same language again. That's because the concatenation of any pair of words of even length will always have even length again. The clean plus is similar to the clean star operation. They differ in the fact that the plus operation does not force to include the empty word. L star is always equal to the union of L plus with the set containing just the empty word. Moreover, lambda belongs to L plus if and only if lambda belongs to L.